Hey everybody, this is James with WSTrades.com. Want to give you an update here on MVIS or Microvision. Found an article here on InvestorPlace.com and it says the pandemic adds unnecessary pressure to Microvision. When it comes to pioneering innovations, it doesn't get any more fantastical than fostering the ability for cars to drive themselves. While Microvision, MVIS, is specifically in the litter business, if we're being honest, the true investment thesis of MVIS stock is to sell the aforementioned dream. Of course, the real threat to the underlying company is that this is what it only amounts to, a dream. On the positive front, MVIS stock has substance. Through what Microvision calls its highest resolution, full velocity, long range automotive litter sensor, the company is able to identify objects and foster the ability to predict those uncertain driving situations we experience every day. Given that road rage incidents are on the rise during the new normal, such an innovation enjoys added relevance. However, MVIS stock immediately faces a problem. Essentially, the underlying company will have a mountain to climb to prove the effectiveness of its platform. For example, while litter has many advantages over optical alternatives, it also suffers drawbacks related to various environmental conditions. If Microvision is to succeed in delivering autonomous driving solutions, establishing safety will be paramount. Let's take a look here at the price action on Microvision right now. Definitely not great here in the short term. You can see I had a trend line drawn out here. Uh, they were dying off, and they broke through that to get above the 21-day EMA, dipped back below, really riding it for a while, and now they're making the move down. So on the TTM squeeze here, you can see the price squeezed for a day on September 1st, and then a couple green dots, and it is squeezing again. So we're definitely looking primed for a big move right now on MVIS. Um, if I had to take a pick right now, I would say we're going to make a move to the downside just because this thing is trending in that direction. The price action is heading down while we are squeezing. So my guess is this thing is going to fire to the downside. Um, got an important level here, though, around $12, $12.21 right here. Let me zoom out a little more. Yeah, around that $12.20 level is a recent low here. Um, I guess in... A little higher up here in the pricing around maybe thirteen dollars so if this thing works its way down um, below this 13 level and closes below there I would imagine it's going to go down and test this 1220 level here so we'll kind of see what happens with the price action this thing has not fired yet it is riding a little low on the RSI here uh, so we'll kind of see what happens it's chopping around this 21 day EMA um, I mean, this thing still could rally a little bit and then make a big move to the upside. Um, if it does, I believe an important price point here is around this 16, 1650 level. If this thing can rally a little bit, get above the 21 day EMA and fire to the upside, you know, I would be keeping my eye here around this 1650 level. If it can break through that and pump, then I mean, you've got much higher prices here. Uh, you can see all the way up here around $25. Uh, a little lower than that, you have a or a price around twenty-one dollars. So, um, definitely interested to see what happens here. We know this thing is squeezing. We know this thing is priming itself to make a really big move. So we'll just have to see what you know the market has to say about this stock and where the pricing is going to go here. So I'll continue to keep you guys updated on MVIS. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.